ribs suppose this is this is something like we have the ribs we always check like this we need to add the rib okay so this is something like whenever we're going to be add the rib structure rib pattern okay so that should not be crossing each other okay so this is something like we, we have so this not be allowed so why it is not going to get allowed suppose if the, in this particular portion if you just check closely okay so i'll just take zoom over there so before that we'll just try to have the lines to cross the rib so we can add the rib so that we're going to be checked today so rib need to be add across this particular part okay so what we have so we have created the line so line we have created that we need to keep some distance so make that as a parametric in sketch okay suppose i have at this line is something like 85 so with respect to that we need to add the ribs so here you can check we need to add the rib equidistance of uh, 50 okay and instance we need to add first so instance we need to add five or five and distance we want to have 50. so similar way we're going to be add the vertical ribs something like this again we need to keep a constant distance from here so 19 will have then opposite direction we need to go for instances something like five and distance will keep 25 okay or we can just go for 30 or 40 so something like this we have the ribs okay so if you just check closely at any of the corner at any of the center of this particular rib so what is going to be happen so with respect to this rib, if we have the thickness, something like this will be the rib going to be that created. Okay. But if you just check the root thickness, so root thickness of that particular rib from this to this. Okay. So this we have the one mm, this we have the one mm, and this is going to be become as a diagonal. Okay. So this diagonal definitely going to be have more distance with respect to one mm okay and due to that it's going to be create the sink mark okay so it's going to be create the sink mark at the bottom somewhere in this particular area it create the sink mark so what we can do right now so we will just add a structure similar to this okay so what we can do we'll just try to erase and try to have rib alternately okay so we can say something like this we can do so we'll do the rib alternate pattern something like this again we can skip somewhere here okay so something like ladder we have so kind of the step we have the alternate steps we can add okay, again somewhere here we're going to be add we can remove so again this is not going to be get used so the only concern we have is just to make sure no rib going to be get cross each other okay no rib going to be get cross each other something like this 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 okay no one need to get cross so for that reason what we can do we can just add similar to this ribs okay so this rib is going going outside so i'll just add little bit value so it will be totally outside Okay, so this is how we're going to be create the rib structure and due to that we need to have some fixings at, at some areas okay either we need to shift the rib okay in opposite direction so that we can do we can just add a little bit more distance clearance on this direction okay because that is in our control like we like when why are we going to be add the rib so definitely we need to add the rib to make a give the strength to the part okay so with respect to that we are adding the rib and here it's again crossing so we can adjust adjust that values 
so you can say there is a no crossing for this particular feature fixation so with respect to that we're going to be added the rip so once you come up from this particular part okay so where you can find this is something like going to be other part so i'll just give the color which you can recognize it let's hide the input okay so this is going to be how the rip pattern structure we need to implement onto the part so we'll add another part body so with respect to that part body we need to go for the sketch so here you can say yes we need to go for thickness thickness we can select neutral fiber so mostly we need to have something like 3 mm height close to 2.5 3 mm height in between that only the height added going to be add the strength stiffness beyond that it will be increase the height but the strength will not be get added okay so this is something like from the sketch what we have we need to go for 2 mm something like 3 mm okay so here we can add 2.5 okay, so 2.5 we can add at bottom also we not require that much so we'll just go for the 5 mm so this is how we added the rib now the most important we need to add draft to this particular ribs okay so each and every surface need to get fin surface need to get sealed with respect to that we going to be add the draft so if we have the simple method we need to do the draft within a fraction of second all the ribs will be will be get drafted so there is one option select by this selection the draft neutral element you need to select by neutral face okay so for that you need to select the value of 0.5 degree draft and what if we have the tooling line so that you need to select So here we have the tooling line so that we can select upside and check within a fraction of second all the surfaces will get drafted okay all the surfaces will get drafted so this is how we can do the draft within a fraction of second okay if we just check all the yellow color draft we are given all the surfaces get drafted if you want to go for the inverse you can do that inverse as well okay so if you want to give the draft from the bottom side so definitely we have the plane so that we can use or we can have the zero from the bottom you can see thickness is zero now from the bottom and that we going to be add the drafts so you can just hide this close volume so you can inverse that the neutral face we need to just change and get a bottom side check for the preview arrow it is same so if you want to keep the root thickness same you can go for that too okay so only concern in this particular area only concern in this particular area okay it's to have the continuous surfaces okay so if you select this one surface something like this they are going to be select so it need to be get connected those surfaces are not connected that we need to give separate draft okay so in this area there is no such a condition we have the different different areas so for that reason we going to be have such a way that now we need to add into into this close volume so definitely we need to go for the union trim so there are the two option again in union trim we need to select or keep okay face to keep or the face to remove so always i recommended to go for faces to keep so that will be easier option so we know at least where exactly we need to uh, okay so either you have the second option that we need to remove the things okay so this is how we can add the rib into the part and with respect to that we can add a draft even easier way for the continuous ribs okay mm -hmm.